Hi, my name is Matt Almond, and I like to explain things. And I'd like to explain something to you that has some kind of bearing on your everyday life, but I don't know you, and I've never met you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what you're doing right now. Right now, you are staring at a computer screen, and that computer screen is flashing still images at you at the rate of about 20 to 30 a second. But it doesn't look like still images, right? It looks like motion, like movement. But there's no actual motion there. This is called apparent motion. So how is this happening? Well, traditionally this has been explained using a phenomenon called persistence of vision, which is where when you see something, the images we see kind of remain stuck on the back of our retina for milliseconds even after we're done seeing them. But that's not how apparent motion works. To understand how apparent motion works, I need a flipbook. So, we have our flipbook, a bunch of still pictures. We move them, and they kind of blend together to make motion. But notice that in between each picture, your vision is briefly interrupted by the turning of the previous page, which means essentially the images are being turned on and off. This on and off is key to understanding how apparent motion works, because it's linked to the way that your eyes and brain work. So, your eyes are moving a lot. They vibrate about 60 times a second, back and forth. Now, when your eyes are actually in motion, they don't send information to your brain, which means you can't see things when your eyes are in motion. And if you don't believe me, you can try an experiment. Go find a mirror and look at your left eye in the mirror. Then look at your right eye. Left eye, then right eye. You'll notice that you can definitely sense that your eyes are moving. I mean, you'll be able to feel them move, but you won't be able to see them move because when they're in motion, they don't send information to your brain. So when your eyes flip back and forth at 60 times a second, it means they're essentially turning themselves on and off at 60 times a second. In this way, they function very much like a camera shutter. And these camera shutters send thousands of still images to your brain a minute. And your brain is able to take these still images, fill in the gaps to make motion, which means that the way that you see real motion is exactly the same way that you see apparent motion, whether it's a flip book or a computer screen or Looney Tunes. So the reason you can see me now on the screen is because the parts of your brain that see motion don't know the difference between me on a screen and me in real life. So think about that for a second. We are able to understand how we see all motion simply by understanding how we see this flip book. We're summing up billions of years of evolution just through the understanding of this flipbook. And that is amazing.